Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Crackin' It's D-Boss here. I this chick smooth it. It's titled Lil Dirk, officially indicted by feds with conspiracy of discharging firearms charges. Life in prison. Damn. That's what he's facing? Life? That's crazy. Uh, let, let's see what's going on. Let's watch. After recently being relocated from Broward County to Los Angeles, Lil Dirk has been hit with new charges. According to the Justice Department putting out a press release regarding the case. What's up, y'all? It's your man Talkless World reporting for the Chicks oh, World channel. Was, uh, we got to talk about this. Milagro from Mobs World is Center. updating us, here. saying new charges for Little Dirk and his murder for hire case. One count of conspiracy, one count of use of interstate facilities to commit murder for hire, resulting in death, and one count of using, carrying, and discharging firearms and machine gun and possession of such firearms in furtherance of a crime in violence resulting in death. And she would get that information from the U.S. Attorney's Office of the Central District of California, who put out a press release, Chicago rapper Little Dirk charged in superseding indictment alleging murder-for-hire plot to kill rival near Beverly Center Mall in 2022. This press release goes on to talk about who's been charged for the plot, and it's interesting to see when they start paying attention to the story. According to the press release, a Grammy award-winning Chicago rapper has been charged in a superseding federal grand jury indictment alleging he conspired with others to murder a rival rapper, resulting in the shooting death of the rival's relative that occurred at a gas station near the Beverly Center shopping mall in Los Angeles in August 2022. And didn't he pay them like through PayPal or something or Cash App? <laughs> it was something stupid. It was like a, a paper trail. In, in the notes he put for, for murder. <laughs> it was something stupid. The Justice Department announced today, Dirk Banks, 32, also known as Little Dirk, Blood, and Mustafa Abdul Malak of Chicago, is charged with what we just covered from Malagro. The indictment adds two felony charges against mm -hmm. Banks, who previously was charged via criminal complaint in this case. The four-count superseded indictment returned late Thursday adds know. Banks as the lead defendant to a previous indictment returned okay, October 17th <laughs> and charging the following defendants in connection with the August 2022 murder. Vaughn of Atlanta, Didi of Chicago, Flocka of Gary, Indiana, Brown Eyes of Addison, Illinois, and Boogie of Chicago. That's Banks was arrested name. on October 17th. Was y'all calling that nigga that? Like, hey, Brown Eyes, that's, that's weird. Miami International Airport, after law enforcement learned that Banks had been booked on multiple international flights, a federal magistrate judge in Miami has ordered him jailed without bond until he is transferred to Los Angeles for arraignment. Just because he was booked on multiple flights doesn't mean he was trying to flee necessarily. He could have been super busy, or it could have been a clerical error, or it could have been some human <laughs> mistake, <laughs> double booking. Happens all the time. Mm -hmm. But a federal all judge time. in Miami still ordered him jail without bond. All six defendants, none of whom have yet entered a plea deal to the charges, are expected to be arraigned in downtown Los Angeles in the coming weeks. And then they start getting into OTF, and then why they believe this plot took place. According to the superseding indictment, in 2010, Banks formed an organization called Only the Family, which, among other things, produced and sold hip-hop music from artists primarily from the Chicago area. OTF also acted as an association, in fact, of individuals who engaged in violence, including murder and assault, at Banks' direction and to maintain their status in OTF. That last sentence is going to become super important as they fight this case because the feds always swoop in and try to prove that people are committing crimes in furtherance of themselves in their group or the group themselves. Like, the feds don't investigate every crime in every city. That's local PD. But when individuals start grouping up and then doing crimes, the same things they were doing before, whether it was selling this or doing something else, the moment you start organizing that and start doing those same illegal activities in furtherance of the group to make sure the group is bigger, to make sure your group is known, to make sure you're known in the group, once that's happening, the feds are on their way. You don't have to call them. They know the address. They see you posting it every day on Instagram. They know what y'all called. They follow all of y'all already. They're just waiting for y'all to do something so public that it's time to stop everything. But if you start changing your life, then they wait 
until you try to leave, and then they hit you with the indictments. Because when someone dies, there's no time limits. So this press release, having the sentence, OTF also acted as an association, in fact, of individuals who engaged in violence, including murder and assault, at Banks' direction and to maintain their status in OTF, that's their claim of conspiracy. Doesn't make it true, that's just their claim. They continue, Banks feud with a victim identified in court documents as TB, and if you're asking who's TB, the feud stemmed from a November 6, 2020 murder in which an associate of TB shot and killed an OTF rapper named Devon Bennett, AKA King Vaughn. Mm. Bennett and Banks were close friends. So in response to Bennett's murder, Banks allegedly put a bounty on TB's life. So to the feds, this story started when King Vaughn died. They didn't care about nothing that happened before that. According to the charges he's facing today, which is superseding, which means they can add charges whenever, they don't care about anything before King Vaughn dying because according to them, that created the motive of revenge. Now they get into what happened in California that brought them officially involved. On August 19, 2022, several OTF members and associates used two vehicles you and worked in so tandem far. to track, stalk, and attempt to murder TB for hours, culminating in a shooting at a gasoline station located near the Beverly Center shopping mall. They used multiple guns, including a machine oh, gun, gasoline. and fired at least 18 rounds at TB's vehicle, striking and killing a victim, identified in court documents as SR, which was Little Pad, rest in peace, who was Pondo Rondo's cousin who had been traveling with him. At that point, that's still local PD. People getting shot is local PD. But then they say Banks allegedly ordered TB's murder and the hitmen used money from Banks and OTF-related finances to carry out the hit. Bank and flight records show that an OTF member and close associate of Banks coordinated and paid for five co-conspirators to travel from Chicago to California on the day before the murder. Around the time the one-way flights were purchased, Banks told the OTF associate booking the flights, allegedly, quote, don't book no flights under no names involved with me. The same day the hitman traveled from Chicago to California, Banks also traveled to California in a private jet with another conspirator, Vonnie. Later that day, Vonnie allegedly purchased ski masks for the shooters to commit the murder and paid using a credit card yeah, in Banks' name the for the co-conspirator's <laughs> hotel room. He bought hotel rooms and ski masks with Little Dirk's credit cards. Crazy. Or OTF-related credit cards. Not Little Dirk's personal credit card. The other five defendants are in federal custody in Illinois after their initial court appearance in Chicago. They remain charged with one count of conspiracy, one count use of interstate facilities to commit murder for hire resulting in death, and one count of using, carrying, and discharging firearms and machine gun and possession of such firearms in furtherance of a crime of violence resulting in death. Jones, Flocka, faces an additional count of possession of a machine gun. And of course, an indictment contains allegations that a defendant has committed a crime. Every defendant is presumed to be innocent until and unless proven guilty in court. If convicted, everyone will face the maximum of life in federal prison. But that's the maximum. Everyone doesn't always get the maximum. The prosecutors on this case are not rookies. This is going to go nothing like Atlanta and the YSL case. But what do you think about the situation? Let me know. I mean, he might not get life, but it sounds like he about to get some serious time. And paying for this with a credit card is so stupid. So very dumb. But okay, this happened at a gas station near the Beverly Center. Because I was about to say, the whole time they were talking about this, I'm like, so they was like shooting niggas in the mall? That's crazy. But okay, it was at the gas station near the mall. I mean, it's still bad. Are those gunshots? Um, it's still bad, but um, yeah, that that's a bit less crazy. Uh, than shooting somebody in the actual mall. Um, but yeah, it looks like he's gonna get time. Hey, you did the crime, you get the time. It is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!